Welcome to another sparkling episode of The Diamond Consumer, your go-to podcast for everything diamond-related. I'm your host, Ms. Diamonds, and today we're diving into a topic that may seem a bit mysterious, but it's definitely one worth knowing about. We're talking all about fluorescence in diamonds. Now, before you think this is some scientific mumbo-jumbo, don't worry. I promise we're going to make it easy to understand, and maybe, just maybe, it will change the way you look at diamonds forever. So, let's take a quick step back. We all know diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? But what about the little things that make them stand out? Like how they light up in the most unusual ways under different lighting conditions. That glow you sometimes see, that's fluorescence. Yes, it's a real thing, and today, I'm here to break it all down for you. Whether you're buying a diamond for an engagement ring, just admiring them in a store window, or even curious about how they affect the price, understanding fluorescence is crucial. Ready to get started? Let's go. All right, let's kick things off by defining exactly what fluorescence is. Fluorescence in diamonds is a phenomenon where the diamond glows or shines in certain colors under ultraviolet or UV light. Imagine walking into a dark room with a black light, you know, the kind they use in those crime shows to uncover hidden clues. And suddenly, your diamond starts to light up in shades of blue or sometimes even yellow, green, or white. That's fluorescence at work. Now, the big question is, how does this happen? Diamonds as beautiful as they are, are made up of carbon atoms arranged in a crystal structure. Under normal circumstances, they don't shine or glow on their own. But when these carbon atoms in the diamond are exposed to UV light, some of them absorb that energy and then release it as visible light. This release of light is what we see as fluorescence. It's kind of like a cool magic trick, but it's all based on the science of light and energy. Fluorescence can happen in varying degrees in diamonds, and no two diamonds will ever glow exactly the same. The color of the glow is usually blue, but it can be different depending on the specific chemical properties of the diamond. But why does fluorescence matter to you as a diamond consumer? That's what we're going to dig into next. Fluorescence in diamonds is something that's often overlooked, but it actually plays a pretty important role in how a diamond looks and, believe it or not, how much it might cost. So, let's start with the aesthetics. Most people are familiar with the standard four C's of diamonds, cut, color, clarity, and carat weight. Fluorescence can actually influence two of these C's, color and clarity. Let's talk about color first. As I mentioned earlier, the most common fluorescence color is blue. Blue fluorescence can have a slight effect on how a diamond's color is perceived, particularly in diamonds that are near colorless. If a diamond has a blue fluorescence and it's exposed to UV light, it can make the diamond appear whiter or even more brilliant than it would without the fluorescence. On the other hand, if you have a diamond with a yellow or greenish fluorescence, it can have the opposite effect. It might make the diamond appear a little bit more yellowish, which can reduce its overall color grade. So, depending on the color of the fluorescence and the overall tone of the diamond, it can either improve or detract from the diamond's appearance. Now, when it comes to clarity, things get a little more complex. If a diamond has noticeable inclusions, fluorescence might sometimes make them harder to see. This is because the glow of the diamond can mask certain imperfections, especially under UV light. However, too much fluorescence can sometimes cause the diamond to appear cloudy or hazy, which can make the clarity look worse than it actually is. It's a delicate balance. Some diamonds with fluorescence are clearer, but too much fluorescence might actually have the opposite effect. So, with all this in mind, how does this all affect the price of a diamond? Ah, uh, price. This is the million dollar question. Fluorescence can absolutely impact the price of a diamond and the effects can go either way. It can make a diamond less expensive or even more valuable. 
It all depends on the intensity of the fluorescence and its color. Here's the general rule. Diamonds with strong blue fluorescence tend to be a little less expensive than those without fluorescence. Why? Well, many people prefer diamonds without fluorescence because they want the stone to look its best under any lighting condition, and fluorescence can be a bit unpredictable. Some buyers may feel that it detracts from the overall look of the diamond, which can lower the price. However, that's not to say fluorescence is always a bad thing. Some people actually seek out diamonds with strong blue fluorescence because they like how it makes the stone look under certain lighting. Plus, a diamond with fluorescence can sometimes appear brighter and whiter, which may make it seem like a better deal for the price. Diamonds with fluorescence, especially those with a faint or medium glow, often fall into a more affordable price range. But if you find a diamond that you absolutely love with that signature blue glow, you might just be getting a good deal for a beautiful stone that others might overlook. But, of course, the price also depends on other factors like the cut, carat weight, and clarity. So, fluorescence is just one piece of the puzzle. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Okay, that's great and all, but how do I figure out if a diamond has fluorescence? Excellent question! Let me walk you through the basics of identifying fluorescence in a diamond. First, not all diamonds are fluorescent, and not all fluorescent diamonds glow the same way. The easiest way to check if a diamond has fluorescence is to ask the jeweler for its grading report. The Gemological Institute of America, or GIA, and other reputable labs include fluorescence as part of the diamond's report. It'll tell you the intensity level and the color of the fluorescence, which can help guide you in making your decision. Another way to check is to look at the diamond under UV light but I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're in a controlled environment, like a jewelry store, with proper lighting and equipment. Most jewelers will have a UV light handy to show off the fluorescence, so don't be afraid to ask to see it in action. And here's a fun fact. The effect of fluorescence can sometimes be more noticeable in lower light conditions. So, if you're shopping for a diamond, keep in mind that the fluorescence might be more obvious in certain environments. This is important to consider, especially if you're someone who plans to wear the ring in various types of lighting. As we wrap things up today, let's take a moment to reflect on how fluorescence adds yet another layer of uniqueness to the fascinating world of diamonds. Whether it makes your diamond appear brighter and wider, or adds a subtle hint of color, Fluorescence is a characteristic that plays an important role in both the aesthetic and pricing of diamonds. Remember, diamonds are as much about personal preference as they are about science. So, if you're choosing a diamond, consider the fluorescence factor. Do you like the extra sparkle? Or do you prefer the classic brilliance of a diamond without fluorescence? And always remember, while fluorescence may influence a diamond's price, the most important thing is how much you love the diamond. Whether it's glowing under UV light or shining in natural sunlight, it's the sparkle that's meaningful to you. That's what truly makes it priceless. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Diamond Consumer. I hope you now feel a little more in the know about diamonds and fluorescence. Stay sparkling, stay shining, and I'll see you next time.